ha <laughs> ha! What is up YouTube? The Smartwatch Guru is back with another one. And this one, you guys appreciated when I did it for the Galaxy Watch 3, so I'm back to do it again with the Galaxy Watch 4. And that is the size comparison. Which size should you choose? Don't pick the wrong Galaxy Watch. 46 millimeter versus the 42 millimeter Galaxy Watch. As well as I'm gonna try it on, so those of you who have a similar wrist size to me can see what it would look like on your wrist before you purchase it. Let's get in to the <laughs> smartwatch, player. I'm gonna slice that bad boy right there. I should be a pro by this point, but look, this one giving me some trouble. Hold on, player. You know what I'm saying? Slice it right there. Bam, slice and dice it, baby. Let's open this bad boy up. Whoa. And yes, I grabbed the silver. Uh, someone was asking me, why did I go silver this year? I traditionally always have went black on my Samsung Galaxy watches and even, well, this one, you couldn't get black if you wanted the bigger size, so I had to roll with the silver black and so forth. Um, but I went with silver because when I was picking my smartwatch on Samsung, I saw, yo, that mustard though on the silver, fire. And it looked so much better on the silver variant than it did the black variant. Also, it's time to switch it up. I already got black watches. I got the Galaxy Watch 3 in black if I wanna rock the all black everything, you know what I'm saying? So let's give the silver a try and I want to switch it up. And honestly, if you look up close, <laughs> the silver does not look that bad. It actually looks really good, especially when I do these custom watch faces. If you guys are wondering how did I get this custom watch face, the video will be dropping shortly. I just gotta make it and I'll show you guys. And also, I did make a video on the Galaxy Watch 3, but there's some things that are different with the Galaxy Watch 4 in order to get it to work with the uh, setup that I have so you guys can get the custom watch faces. So stay tuned for that video. Smash the subscribe button and turn on notifications because I will be hitting you guys with that. Wow, this one has the white band. Now that's another thing, on the silver, the white band did look good. Now, not the white sport loop. I don't like the sport loop. You guys should already know that from now. I don't like the sport loop because of the way it bands out like that. Like, how wide it goes on the thing, that's the thing, it's making it wear bigger than what it really is because this is preventing it from like flipping in. I don't know, this band just has that wider fit on it and I, nah, I guess it's for activeness and letting that wind blow through, but I don't need all that, player. Not on my classic, no. Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on so we can get the visual looks. And as you guys can see, this is definitely smaller, a little bit more petite in sizing compared to this massive bad boy right here, 46 millimeters. Samsung is not playing this year. So let's get the 42 millimeter all set up with the Z Fold 3 so we can put this bad boy on. Matter of fact, let me just try it on real quick. Now, it's always hard to choose what size you wanna go with because there's a deciding factor. A lot of it has to do with battery size. Okay, they gave me the right <laughs> band size on this one. Maybe if you go with the larger smartwatches, they just give you the medium to large band automatically or something, I'm not sure. Um, so you can see how this is wearing on me right now. Hold on, let's see. So that is the 42 millimeter on my wrist. Uh, not bad, let me put the uh, other one on the right wrist really quick. I don't really wear watches on my right wrist at all. And I think my right wrist is actually bigger than my left wrist. Fits a little bit more snug on that side. But let's see, bam. See, I don't like this band, this band on this sport band makes it wear bigger than what it is. But I'm probably, I'll switch the band out actually during this video because I do have another custom band that's uh, stainless steel silver that I could put on here because this should be the same 20 millimeter lugs as every Galaxy Watch 4 has been thus far. So let's set this bad boy up real quick. Connected to the Z Fold 3, you guys already know. If you guys haven't seen my video on the Z Fold 3, go check it out. I got like eight Samsung Galaxy watches connected to the Z Fold 3 right about now. <laughs> Bam! Thus far on my six inch wrist, what do you like better? Now, this isn't a fair comparison because I put a custom band on here because it wears a lot better with the custom band because the band actually flips down. So it kind of like slims out the watch. Like this band, as you guys can see, is so wide that it widens out the watch fit. And I'm not a fan of that, so let's see. So that's something you just got to think about when it comes to the sport band. I'm, I'm not a fan of it. I, I'm gonna just put that out there. Actually, while we wait for this to set up, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the um, custom band that I have right here. 
So I have this nice Milanese style stainless steel band, which I love. I had it on my Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, the 46 millimeter, and I loved it. But then I got this other one in, so I switched it up. But the great part is I get to put this on. All right, let's get these off of here. Remove this bad boy. You gotta get your nail up in there. Hold up, Lyle. Oh, wait. I don't got no nails. Y'all be make y'all be on me about my nails, so I cut them super short. Now I play can't even change the watch bands. <laughs> now I will say this: putting custom watch bands on the Galaxy Watch 4 Classics, and I'm pretty sure the 4 is not easy. I think they changed the shape of like where you add these watch bands to. Okay, let's see if this will fit. I hope this fits. Oh yeah, to get in there. Okay. Oh, it fit in there. Actually, 42 millimeter took the 20 millimeter watch band a lot better than uh, my 46 did. Uh, nah, we're gonna skip the backup. Let's let this thing go ahead and finish up. All right, so let's get this bad boy on here because then you guys get to see it wear the way that it re it's really supposed to wear. Oh, I love how well this fit on here. This actually got on here a lot easier. For some reason, when I did the 46 millimeter, it wasn't easy. Okay, you guys, now you guys are gonna see a real representation. Woo! Let's see, we're all set, baby, let's go. I wanna skip the uh, the little intro, little how to use it type of thing. Hold on, let's see. Woo, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's see. Woo! Let me... Okay, starting, come on, start by now. Come on, I'm ready to go. Woo. As you guys can see, a real good up close look at the 46 millimeter versus the 42. Uh, man, they're gonna make me take this tour. I really don't want to. Wow, this watch is looking nice, you guys. I, I mean, I love the classic look. The classic look looks so good, you guys. All right, let me go through this <laughs> little setup real quick. Because, I mean, that's what they want you to do. They want you to learn how to use it. That's it, baby. Let's go. Let me be. Okay, I know that. I know. I know. Boom. Woo! I can't wait to put custom watch faces on this bad boy, but look at this. You know what, let me switch the hands because this is typically the hand that I will wear my watch on. This is my left, this is my wrist. It's about six inches in circumference with a nice custom band. It wears a lot more to the wrist. I love it. Looks nice, look good. I'll put links down in the description below to both of these watch bands in case you guys want to grab it. Both of these watch bands are fit on either size because they're for the 20 millimeter band size, which is on both. So boom, and then I'm gonna come up over here on this bad boy. The stainless steel looks, you know what you guys? I gotta keep it a buck. The stainless steel is a lot shinier. I don't know if you guys, hold on, let's see if you guys can pick that up. The stainless steel is so much more shinier. Look, look right here in this. Look at that glimmer right there, that shine. Now look at this. This is a lot more duller on the 46 millimeter. It's not as polished. It looks so much more like polished on the 42. I'm kind of jealous. What, what in the world is going on? That's a really nice look. Yo, the 42 millimeter looks good. A little smaller. Here's the thing. Going between these two, it's battery size, you guys. The battery size is a lot different. We're talking 361 milliamps versus 247 milliamps, I believe. So 247 milliamps on the 42 millimeter, a lot less battery in comparison to the big 361 milliamp hour battery that you're getting on the 46 millimeter. So it really comes down to two factors. How does it wear? How does it fit? And, and when it comes to weight, honestly, yes, the 42 is like slightly lighter, but it's not light enough to where I'm like, oh, there's such a big difference. I can get along just fine with the 46 millimeter if I went with that as far as weight goes and everything, and I get the benefit of the battery. But if you go with the 42 millimeter, it's a little bit more sleek. The polish on here looks a lot better for the stainless steel. It's a lot shinier. It's a lot nicer looking. I won't even lie, like that's, I'm kind of jealous. It's a little unfair that the 42 millimeter looks better than the 46. Now, did I just get got on my 46 millimeter? Why isn't it as shiny? Somebody let me know down in the description below. Whew. As you guys can see. Oh yeah, let me turn on the always on display on this one. All right, so that way it's always on. Whoo, 
Look at that. Look at that. Look at these watches. They look good. They look good. Matter of fact, hold up. Let me get this. I wanna like lock down a little bit more. Boom. I don't know, man. I don't know. Y'all comment down below. Which one you think looks better? 46 millimeter or the 42? Let me know. 46 millimeter or the 42? Let me know. Comment down below. If you guys like these watch bands, I'll drop an Amazon link down in the description below for both of them. They fit on both watches. So either way you go, you can win. Now I need to try both of these and, and see how the battery life is. Granted, you guys already know the battery powerhouse is gonna be the 46 millimeter. But you get decent battery on the smaller Samsung smartwatches, obviously more than the uh, typical uh, competitors out there. You know what I'm talking about, like Apple Watch and so forth. So you're gonna be able to get through your day without a doubt and possibly another day, you know, on the 46 millimeter. So it really comes down to how much battery you want versus how does it fit on your wrist. Again, I have about a six inch wrist. This is how it looks on mine. I don't know. You guys comment down below and let me know which Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic should I get? Which Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic did you get? And <laughs> how do you love it? I'm jealous because the 42 millimeter has a nicer stainless steel casing on it versus the 46 millimeter, which has more of a dull stainless steel look. But it still looks good. Actually, it matches the band better because if it was shiny like this, if it was shiny like the 42 millimeter, I don't know if it would have matched this stainless steel band as good. So it might be by design. Anyways, you guys already know, it's your smartwatch guru. Next video is coming up. I'm gonna compare the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, Galaxy Watch 4 versus the Galaxy Watch 3, the uh, Galaxy Watch and the Gear S3 Frontier. Yes, all of that. Whew, I got a lot of Samsung uh, Galaxy watches. I have, a, I have a smartwatch problem. I love smartwatches, don't you? They say if you can't beat them, then you join them. No. That's no option, I don't join, I always beat them. In the phone call, hey y'all, tell Tim Apple that it's Samsung season. All right, players? I was fake, you had to find me. Now I'm on B, skating like I'm grinding. L hit me, said it's all about the timing. If you want the vision, get the spinning. My mama told me trust in God, it's never limits. Now I'm on the scoreboard, running up the digits. I put in work, you know I'm up to get it. Early bird gets the worm and the Yankee fitted. Like whoa, bags under my eyes and you know. Won't complain, I'm tired, I'm on go. For that grip, ten toes till they swole. For that grip, ten toes till they swole. Remember those days, those L's, I couldn't sleep right now. I get paid, vacay, I'm staying beside.